He is the son-in-law of Enshri Nivasan, whose involvement with betting has put the BCCI chief under siege. The BCCI president has done everything to deny any link between Guru Nath Mayapan and the team of Chennai Super Kings. He denied that Guru was an owner, even denied that he had anything to do with the team management at all. But headlines today now places before you an exclusive paper trail that proves Guru Nath Mayapan's legal links to India Cements via his wife, and Srinivasan's daughter Rupa. Headlines today has accessed the annual income tax returns of India Cements, the company that owns Chennai Super Kings. The returns show Rupa Gurunath as a director in India Cements with 36,440 shares. Under all definitions of ownership in various acts in India, a spouse's place as a direct and shareholder links Gurunath to the ownership structure that company at least under the legal tenet of persons acting in concert for common objective. These are the facts that the three-member pro panel set up to look into Gurunath's links with CS. It cannot ignore an ominous sign for Mr. Srinivasan. In fact, headlines today's Ashish Mehrish use access those documents now joins us live for more on that story. Also, headlines today's sports correspondent Sundar Ayer is with us. But Ashish, I want to come to you first. Explain to our viewers exactly why, despite all this proof, now Mr. Srinivasan cannot claim that there is no link, no direct link between CSK and Gurunath Mayappan. Padmaja, if you remember, uh, there was a press release by India Siemens as well as, you know, the, the excuse that uh, Mr. Srinivasan has been giving is that uh, he has no relationship. His his son-in-law, Gurunath Mayappan, has no relationship with Chennai Super Kings. Chennai Super Kings is wholly owned by India Siemens. And if you see if you see the documents that is that are in our possession, Gurunath's wife, uh, Rupa Gurunath, holds 36,440-odd shares uh, in, in, in India Siemens. And she is a promoter as well as whole-time director. So, so if you go through the the laws we have we have consulted various uh, your legal experts and tax experts and they say whether it is companies act whether it is income tax act whether it is sebi act you go through all the acts and you will see that husband and wife are treated as together at least if if there is a common objective that they are, you know they are working for so the excuse that mr srinivasan has been giving that he has got nothing to do he was only an honorary member with chennai super king that that argument certainly falls well it doesn't hold at all anymore uh, sundar is this fact that the three member committee that has been instituted to probe into the links between csk and mr ayappan is also going to look at well, they, that's certainly one of the things that they will now need to look into because obviously, as Ashish Mehrish in that investigative story that's pulled out points out clearly, uh, Rupa Gurunath, his wife of Guru Mayapan, is indeed uh, an owner there with over 36,000 shares. So, Gurunath Mayapan, in that sense, has an indirect link uh, to the, the Chennai franchise, which is owned by India Sim. So, yes, this is something the probe panel can certainly not ignore when they try to find out who's, uh, the ownership pattern. And the, and the true owners of the Chennai franchise. So yes, that's something uh, that they will have to look into and Gurunath Mayapan will indeed find himself in in difficult situation, prove himself as not someone who's uh, directly involved, which is only going to further amount the trouble for N. Srinivasan. Uh, Ashish, was there any attempt made? Because in other respects, there was a concerted attempt to try and distance Mr. Mayapan from uh, CSK and India Cements. In this case, was any such effort made? I don't think so, uh, uh, Padmaja. If you see, uh, you know, there has been a conflict of interest as far as uh, Mr. Srinivasan's role in BCCI as Chennai Super King owner goes. You know, he is the owner of, he is the chairman of uh, of uh, uh, India Cements, which which wholly owns Chennai Super Kings. Then Chennai Super Kings is a part of uh, IPL, uh, which is owned by BCCI. The brand is owned by BCCI. He holds the portfolio of the president of BCCI. So there is a there is a huge conflict of interest and suddenly with these documents where we see that okay. his daughter Rupa Gurunath holds equity and there is an indirect link uh, of Gurunath with the ownership of Chennai Super Kings. There is certainly uh, you know see uh, uh, the, the arm plan that has uh, that had to be maintained by Gurunath Mayappan that was not maintained and and uh, you know same is, is, is the case with N. Srinivasan. Okay. So in totality yes now the argument that he has been giving it's uh, that he has got no links Mayappan has got no has no links, it's certainly false.